Hey everyone, thank you for being with me one more time. We're here for another week of Brown's Bible Study. We have a uh, good one uh, this week. Uh, we had a, 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 a good one th this week, so uh, it's pretty lengthy, but uh, you know me, I don't care, we get into it, we, we get into it, so you know how, how we do, we start off with uh, prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we, we, we thank you, Lord, of, of this day of Thanksgiving, we want to say thank you. We uh, bless you. We honor you. You have bringing us a, You have brought us a mighty long way, Father. And you have so much more for us, dear, dear Lord. As long as we get on your plan, Lord, help us to do that, Lord. Let let us decrease in our agenda and increase on your agenda, dear Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord, for for. For the millions of uh, people all over the, the world, bil billions of people all, all, all over the world that, that are enjoying their, their Thanksgiving dinner, Lord. We uh, thank, thank you for, for, for them having food, clothes, and shelter, Father. And, and, and through a year of all years that, that we have a need to be thankful, we are together one more time. Breaking bread with, with one, one, one another, enjoying our, our food, Father, enjoying each other's company, Father. Friends are getting closer together, families are getting closer together, for we have much to be thankful for, Lord. We thank you for all you have done for us, all you are doing for us, Lord, and all the blessings that, that are happening that, that we have not noticed yet, dear Heavenly Father. We uh, thank, thank you, Lord. We, we are asking you, Lord, lend us your, your mind this evening. Give us the opportunity to think like you, Father, to see things the way that you see, see them, Father, to process them the, the, the way that you will, will process them, Father, for, for our thoughts are not, or, or, or your, for, for your, your thoughts are not our thoughts, Lord, and, and, and your ways are not our ways, Father. For we want to be more like you, but for that to happen, we have to think like you, Father. So we thank you, Lord, for for this very this very thorough Bible study that, that that's getting ready to, to take place, Father. We we we're, we're asking you, Father, to anoint me, Father. Let the people hear you and not me, Father, and and, and bring us all to a closer understanding, Father, on who we are through you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 All right, starting in verse 1 in Mark chapter 6. He, he went out from thence and came into his own country, and his, his, his uh, the disciples followed him. And when the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many, and many hearing him were astonished, saying, From whence has this man these things? And what wisdom is this which is giving un, unto him? that even such mighty works are wrought by his hands. People are offended by the anointing on your life. And, and, and what I mean by anointing, it is basically effectiveness, divine effectiveness. That is what anointing is. See, people get jealous when they don't have a stake or a claim in your success. Okay? They are offended. They're like, wait, 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 wait. In verse 3, is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James, and Jose, and of Judah, and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him. Why? Because they were not a part of the uh, process. How can he do these mighty works? up here but he came from a regular family all the while all the Pharisees and everything they, they, they're trying to prove just how prestigious they are continuously <laughs> no no and in verse 4 and Jesus said unto them a prophet is not without honor but in his own country and among his own kin and in his own house. Why? 
is people like you in a box. I remember being in my first church and as, as the Lord was growing in my life and me growing in, into a man, it just disrupted the heavily, the, the heavily woman dominated church that we uh, pre presided in. Okay, I, I was I was a young man figuring life out on my own. No, no one, no real guidance, no one I even trusted. So I learned a lot the hard way. And just do know it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. But I think I care less now than I did then. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. See, that's how children work. That's how children work. See, you want your, your children to be your clones. They don't belong to you even to begin with. They belong to, to the Lord. Okay? You really don't have full appreciation of, of your children until you see the revelation on their life. Once you see the revelation on their life and they went from being seeds to a to to a uh, oak tree, a tree of, of Lebanon, and their tree and their branches have went and spread out and and have provided shelter for you and shade for the uh, the uh, 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 people and and shelter for for animals and birds and so forth. That whole in, in between process. Please, people don't think anything of you. People don't think anything of you. When, when Jay-Z what, what was coming along, he said, he told his uncle, I'm going to sell more records than, than, than LL Cool J. Because those of us that remember, LL as a teenager, you wasn't topping that. <laughs> you, you wasn't topping that. And Jay-Z came out, came out and said, I'm going to top LL. And his uncle told him, you're not even going to sell a, a, a million records. Jay-Z sold a million records a million times. And he often shared that story with the media. In so much that his uncle came to him or, or re reached out to him and said, hey, look, can you please stop putting me out there? But see, even parents provide guardians loved ones provide motivation they do in verse 5 and he could there do no mighty work save that he laid his hands upon a few folk a few sick folk and healed them so what that, that means is that God couldn't do what he wanted to do. God could not be God to you because of your unbelief. Because you were offended by him and you felt like he did not need to be doing that. <laughs> See, now everybody suffered. How, how do you know? Because the passage of scripture said he could he could and he could there do no mighty work save that he laid his hands so he just did a little your unbelief stops up everything it clogs up all the miracles watch this in verse 6 he marveled because of their unbelief what y'all this is the easiest thing in the world to do all you got to do is believe. Hold on to that belief despite what your circumstances are showing you. You got to see it on the inside before you see it on the outside. And he went around about the villages teaching. And he called unto his twelve. And he began to send them forth two by two. And he gave them power over unclean spirits and he commanded them that they should take nothing for their journey save a staff only no script no bread no no money in their purse why is that they're on official business 
who is their benefactor? The kingdom of uh, uh, the king and the kingdom of God. Okay. When you're serving the Lord, the kingdom of God funds everything. That's why he says, don't worry about anything. Don't worry about anything. See, the kingdom ha ha has to manifest itself to you as long as you still believe. I've been uh, thinking about this te uh, testimony for months now. There, there was a, a certain minister that used to be under uh, Kent, Kenneth Copeland. I, I haven't seen him in a while. I, I don't know if he still serves under Kenneth, Kenneth Copeland. Don't know. But when he was first starting out in his ministry, he bought a, a little church around the uh, corner. The church kept getting broken into several times. Several times. And, and and I think after the last time that it happened, you know, it, it'll happen. They'll, they'll, they'll call the police, you know, the same due process. And the Lord came to the man of God and said, they're trying to get you to, to quit. They're trying to get you to quit. Now, the Lord of all is coming to you. He doesn't say, I will re re replace this, I will bless you more, I'll give you more than what you have, blah, blah, blah. He says, they're trying to make you quit. See, this is about his character, not about his stuff. Then later on, they started breaking into his house. Why? Because he wasn't quitting. Because if he wanted to quit, it, it only took the, 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 the first or second time. So his, his church kept getting broken into. And his home started getting broken into. Why? Because they tried to make him quit. That's what it's about. That's what it comes down to. When you begin to believe in the Lord, everything that does not become convenient for you. No. Oh, because I'm doing the Lord's work, everything is easy. No. Because you are doing the Lord's work, everything is challenging. In verse nine, but be, but, but be shod for for sandals, and not put on two coats. And he said unto them, In which place soever ye, ye enter into an house, there abide till ye depart from that place. And whosoever shall not receive you nor hear you when ye depart thence, shake off the dust from from under your feet for a testimony against them. them. Verily I say unto you, that it shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Well, why would, would, would Jesus say that? First, we have to start with the ministry that's carrying in you, that's abiding in you. That's your content. That's your content. You have to take your content where your content is honored. People won't honor you. People won't honor your content. They have to honor it. Jesus said, if they do not honor it, as a testimony against them, shake the dust from off their feet, off of your, your feet for, for a testimony against them. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for, for that city. Well, why would Jesus say that? What does that mean? That means that city had more of an opportunity to receive the gospel of the kingdom of God than Sodom and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah had zero ministry. <laughs> they had zero ministry. Lot was there, but Lot wasn't the uh, mouthpiece of, of a God. See, God is going to be holding people to judgment based on the opportunity to receive the word, the ones that have been exposed to it, and the ones that have not. That's why, that, that is what, what it is he means, it shall be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah in, in the day of judgment than that city. Because the city that does not receive your content, your kingdom content, Shake the dust off of your feet as a testimony to them. Amen. And verse 12. 
And they went out and they preached that men should re repent. And they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. And King Herod heard of him. For his name was spread abroad. He said that John the Baptist was risen from the dead. I knew it. And therefore, mighty works do show forth themselves in him. Others said, that is Elias. And others said, that, that it is a prophet or as one of the prophets. But Herod heard, therefore, he said, it is John whom I, I beheaded. He is risen from the dead. See, Herod had no desire to do it. But what got him in trouble is he put an oath ahead of uh, his uh, consciousness, if you will. And Herod himself had sent forth and laid a hold upon John and bound him in prison for Herodian's sake, his brother's Philip's wife, for he married her. For John said unto Herod, It is not lawful for thee to take to, to have thy brother's wife. If it wasn't lawful then, it's not lawful now. You don't take somebody else's wife if their spouse is still alive. We have zero regard for, for a marriage. We want it, but zero regard for it. Divorce is our eject button. No. No. When, when, when Moses invented divorce, notice, God didn't say anything. What was going on is, God was saying, Moses, you had no idea the Pandora's box you just opened. Because I, I get you just saved these few lives. But for generations to come, for generations to come. Mm. You have just magnified. If you give people opportunity to quit, they will quit. And said, the Lord told me. <laughs> and we have these millions of women that's going to die alone in our time. In our time. During COVID. In our time. We have something in uh, the Asian countries is called Kotokoshi. 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 What it is, it is a process where uh, you have thousands of Asian people. I, I, I believe it is um, Japanese. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. Of people dying in their homes and their apartments. As is, they're living on top of each other, much like America, <laughs> but way more cramped because because their po population over there is, is so vast. Kotokoshi. And what it is, is you have people who are dying alone and then their neighbors, after the body is corrupt, after the uh, third day, their, their uh, neighbor began to notice and then call the officials to come and get this dead body out of the uh, building. And it's happening. It's happening every day. People dying alone. We never think we're going to die alone. We never, we don't think that far. We're so focused on our happiness that we never think about we're going to die alone. Who is on who is your emergency contact? Is it your mother? It's supposed to be your spouse. I'm in that at the same same uh, category. I, I I've never been married. I haven't been married yet. But when it happens, you'll know. <laughs> you will know. We we have thousands if not millions of women where their emergency con contact is their mother and they're in their 30s 40s and 50s which mean no husband 
Why? Number one, because they think they're better than their spouse. They think they're better than them and they think they can do better. I got choices. I got options. No, 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 no. Men wanting to have sex with you is not options. It is what it is. It's just sex. They're not trying to marry you. <laughs> They're not trying to marry you. <laughs> the modern man knows too much. <laughs> he, 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 he's not going for the, the, uh, the, the okie doke um, uh, the, the baby boom generation men did, okay? Men know too much these days. We know because the, the vast uh, influence of social media, you have your average looking woman got 10, 15 dudes in her, in her DMs and in her in inbox trying to get, get at her. But because she, she thinks so highly of herself, she thinks they are trying to get in, get in their commitment or, or whatever with, with her. No, they're trying to have sex with you. That's it. No, no, no. We have all these millions of women just walking away from marriages, just walking away because they believe they can do better. And they don't, they don't. It is not right to have your brother's wife. Therefore, Herodes had a quarrel against him. Yeah. See, you're not going to offend a woman and that be the end of it. Oh, no. <laughs> and would have killed him, but she could not. See, as delusional that a woman may, not is, but as delusional as a woman may be, she still studies a man. She still studies a man. No, 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 no. She may be out her mind, but when she has, when when you have her full attention because you have offended her. Oh no. <laughs> when a woman retaliates. Mm, you didn't. You will not see it coming. You will not see it coming. Verse 20, and Herod feared John, knowing that he was a just man and, and a holy, and observed him. And when he heard him, he did many things and heard him gladly. Notice how ministry, when it goes forth, I, I look, look, I know what, what, what is happening. People see my uh, videos, and by and large, they it, it, ignore them. We're laying a foundation here, but I, I I check my stats maybe a half dozen times a, a day. It never ceases to uh, amaze me when things get slow. You see a spike that happens. People on Facebook are really picking up on it, and they are picking up on it because I, I I'm I'm also uh, joined in, 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 into a alumni. Uh, 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 Facebook group, and they see the title, they see my my freeze frame on the the the, the uh, front. Try to uh, to have a, a compelling caption and and a brief synopsis and, and everything. And and just when you think it wasn't working, please, I will text uh uh, uh, uh Pastor Steve in a heartbeat. And say, yo, somebody's looking at my old videos. I mean, my old videos <laughs> from uh, from from uh, back in the spring and, and uh, the uh, summer. And people, I, I can track how long they're watching the videos. <laughs> and this is much like what Herod is going through. Herod feared John. Knowing that he was a just man and and holy, and observed him, 
And when he heard him, he did many things and heard him gladly. And, and when a convenient day was come, that Herod on his birthday made a supper to his lords, his captains, chief, chief estates of Galilee. And when the daughter of the said Herodes came in and danced and pleased Herod and them that sat with him. And the king said unto the damsel, Ask of me whatsoever thou wilt, and I will give it to, to thee. And he swore unto her, Whatsoever that thou ask of me, I will give it to thee unto half of my kingdom. Here is the thing about kings. <clears throat> The thing about kings is you always want to make them happy. This is why. Because when you make kings happy, they start giving stuff away. This, this goes for kings. This goes for God. This goes for influential people. This goes for affluential people. When you make them happy and make them joyous, it's just something inside of them they want to give. So, Herodes' daughter came in, danced, and it pleased him and all the magistrate, ma magistrates that sat with uh, Herod. Then he said it, and he made a uh, oath. This is what happened. Amen. Verse 20, 24. And she went forth and said unto her mother, What shall I ask? And he said, The head of John the Baptist. She never forgot. She never forgot. A woman studies a man. A woman studies a man. She will emote, she will retaliate. A woman always studies a man. And this is what she tends to do. Because she's waiting for the right time, what she's going to do is she is going to move through the infrastructure of society to retaliate on you. She's going to use the infrastructure, the infrastructure of society to retaliate on you. It could be Je Jezebel and, 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 uh, and Nate they both. Uh, Jezebel Ahab versus Naboth, or Herod, or Herotes, the daughter, versus John the uh, Baptist. The social economic structure to take the man down in a unique way. In a unique way to make an example of him. Yeah. Yeah. It's frightening. It is frightening. I know what I'm talking about. It's frightening. It is frightening. That's how my year started. That's how my year started. Verse 25. And she came in straightway with haste unto the, the king and asked, saying, I will that thou give me by and by in a charger the head of John the Baptist. And the king was 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 exceeding sorry, yet for his oath's sake and for the their and for their sakes which sat with him, he would not reject her. See, because once a king said he can't go 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 back. Psych! <laughs> he can't go back now. He can't and do that. No. No, because the most important thing to a king is his reputation. Amen. And immediately the king sent a, a executioner and commanded his head to to be, be bought. So, a uh, quick thing about a executioner. An executioner is a professional. He is good at his job. Why is this important? 
a executioner, you you actually have to be trained to be a, 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 a executioner. Because what, what an executioner will do is they will have their axe and, and they behead people. But here's the uh, thing. When you behead people, it doesn't just happen automatically. See, you have to prepare for it. You have to get, get, get your body right. <laughs> okay? It's something. You have to use your legs. You have to use your body, the angle, everything. It's because perfect executioners do it in one quick stroke. You know you got a bad e e executioner when he's taking 15 whacks at it to chop some, someone's head off. So, uh, an, an executioner is one who can do it in one stroke. This is where the word executive comes from. Thank you, Lord. This is where the word executive co comes from. The word executive comes from the word executioner. So an executive is someone who can get stuff done once. The more you, you, you can prove and get stuff done once, you get promoted. So executioner is the base word for the word executive. An executive assistant. Only got to tell you once. An executive VP. Once. <laughs> executive branch manager only get it done once tell me once it's done once now no reminding no I'll try tomorrow and none of that no no he went and beheaded him in the prison verse 28 and brought his head in the charger and gave it to the damsel and the damsel gave it to her mother and his disciples heard of it I, I remember being 12 years old and I'm watching this. I'm reading this, sorry. Uh, reading the, the, the Bible, to, to me, it, it, it's, it, it's like a movie happening. It is like a movie happening. So, I'm reading this as a 12 year old. And I just knew Jesus is getting ready to tear the Herods apart. No. In verse 29, when his disciples heard of it, they came and took up his corpse and laid it in a tomb. And the apostles gathered together unto Jesus and told him all things, both what they had done and, and what they had taught. So in this process of John the Baptist's disciples and his apostles coming in, from their two by two ministry, Jesus is taking all of it, this in. We got, we have, we have, we have joy and we have pain. We have good news and we have grief. We have the gospel and we have a notice of bereavement. We have all this happening all at once, and this is just weighing on, on Jesus. We have no recollection of how Jesus took this information. We know how Jesus felt when Lazarus died, so we have no reason to think he felt any different. But notice how John the Baptist was, how that ended for him. And the Lord just allowed it. See, the thing about modernism, when you become a martyr, you have just became immortal. When you're a martyr, you will never die. You will never die. <laughs> so, notice how God doesn't think like you. It's because, just like me, at the age of 12, I'm reading this. And I'm like, oh, geez, about to get up in that. No. <laughs> God did is going. God is going to make some of us martyrs. Why? Because he's going to make us immortal. In this society. In this society. 
Kobe Bryant is never dying. Alux.com shared an, an expression. The, the expression goes, you die twice. Once when you physically dead, and two, when people stop talking about you. If we just use that saying, Kobe being Bryant will never die. No, he is a uh, martyr. He is a uh, martyr. No, we knew. Jesus is a, a, a martyr. <laughs> we talk about Jesus like he is our roommate. <laughs> Jesus is always with us, man. Always. And verse 31. And when he's and he said unto them, Come ye yourselves apart into a desert place and rest a while. For for they were many coming and going. And they had no leisure so as much to eat. And they departed into a desert place by a ship privately. And when the people saw them de departing, and many knew him, a, and ran afoot thither out of all the cities, the cities, and outwent them, and gathered together unto him. And Jesus, when he came out, saw much people, and was moved with compassion towards them, because they were a sheep not having a shepherd and he began to teach them many things so as uh jesus is showing up they see the uh, ship and people recognize them people saw them de departing and many knew him and he ran afoot thither out of all the cities just droves of people just running out to run to uh, Jesus. Why? Because Jesus got results. Jesus was about outcomes. He was about outcomes. So, um, I, I really find this to be interesting in verse 34. And Jesus, when he came out, saw much people and he, and he was moved with compassion towards them because they were sheep not having a shepherd. So notice the problem to the common man is a lack of leadership. He says because they were a sheep without shepherd. That is what a shepherd is to, to, to the sheep, a leader. So the problem to the answer to your common problems is a lack of leadership. So he doesn't just start working miracles. Blah, 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 blah. No, he began to teach them what? Many things, many things. I hate when when, when people wanna uh, ask you for for your advice, and then get upset when um, they don't like what what it is you are saying. I mean, it's like oh, okay, 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 and and, and, and like slide out. No, no, no. No, they let you know they're not happy with, with, with what it is you said. Like, look, look, get out my face, man. You asked me, I answered. Okay. I'm taking my, my time out. You're the one with the uh, problem. <laughs> A shepherd. It's leadership. So it's your content that is the answer to people's problems. He taught them many things because he had compassion. Jesus stopped what he was doing because he was moved with compassion. He was moved with compassion. He taught them many things. In verse 35, and when the day was now far spent, his disciples came unto him and said, this is a desert place. Now the time is far past. Send them away. That they may go into the country round about and into the villages and buy themselves bread, for they had nothing to eat. He answered and said unto them, Give ye them to eat. And they said unto him, Shall we go and buy two hundred penny worth of bread and give them to eat? He said unto them, How many loaves have ye? Go and see. And he knew, and when they knew. They say five and two fishes. He com 
commanded them to make them to sit down in companies upon the green grass. They're in a desert place. You have to receive in 2020, miracles are going to happen around you without you even noticing. Because your attention is going to be over here, but the miracle is going to come over here. You got to know that. You got to know that. They said a desert place in the green grass in verse 39. And they sat down in ranks by hundreds and fifties. See, some miracles are, are, are going to come. Some is going to come without you noticing. So, which means it's going to happen gradually. Maybe, maybe not. But you, you won't notice. Then some miracles are, are going to re require rank, which means it ha ha has to be done uh, orderly. Which means uh, um, sit them down by fifties and and hundreds. Sit them down because it's five thousand men. Wherever you see five thousand men, it's five thousand women. You, you you see uh, 10,000 couples, you have at least one child, 15,000. Or it really could be 5,000 because th this is during the time of uh, Passover. See, Jesus didn't go into J Jerusalem now because you had two, two things going on. The one dynamic was the religious leaders were, were plotting to, to kill Jesus. Jesus was like, not yet. <laughs> the other half was the people wanted to make him king and Jesus is like you cannot make me king you can't make me king you can't make someone who's already a king a king that means the authority comes from you no <laughs> that's why a president is not a king because the people voted him or her into leadership no, no, no. To fix things, you are going to need a leader. You're going to need a shepherd. And as he taught the people, many things. No. Us, we, we, we come from the same places. We go to the same schools. We have the same problems. We have the same sins. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's not going, going to work. No. That's why Jesus is always right. He had compassion on them because he saw them as sheep without a shepherd. So he stopped and he began to teach them what? Many things. It's going to take Jesus to fix this. It's going to take Jesus to fix this. Verse 41, and when he had taken the five loaves and two fishes, he looked up to heaven and blessed, and he broke the loaves and gave them to his disciples. This is a prequel to uh, Passover. But he did it with 15,000 people and set them before them, and two fishes divided he among them all, which means multiplication multiplication you want multiplication over addition why because it's quicker and it's faster and it's more efficient and they took up 12 baskets full uh, uh I'm, I'm sorry verse 42 and they did did all eat and were filled and he took up 12 baskets full of the fragments and of the fishes and they did that did eat of the loaves were about 5,000 men and straightway he constrained his disciples to get uh, to uh, get into the uh, ship so if it says constrained that means reluctant see Jesus knew what he had to do he knew where he had to be So, 
he knew when to be with his disciples, he knew when to be with 12, he knew when he needed to be with 70, he knew when he needed to be with to be with the three, Peter, James, and John. He knew when he needed to be by himself. I went and, and straightway in verse 45, he, he constrained his disciples to get into the ship and to go the other side before unto Bethsaida while he sent away the people and when he sent them away he uh, departed into the mountain to pray after that great miracle where that that's his coming out party he, he has done many miracles but he always told them keep it to, to yourself at this there is no keep giving to, to yourself you have impacted society as a whole And he sent them away and he departed into a mountain to pray. After that, he had he had to be with he had, he had to be one with the Father once again. Amen. And when he even was come, the ship was a mist in the sea, and he was alone on the land. He saw them toiling and rolling, for the wind was contrary unto them. And about the fourth watch of the, the night, he, he cometh unto them, walking upon the sea, and would have passed by them. So, they're on the ship, they're rowing, we have another storm situation. Jesus departed into the, the, the mountain to, to, to pray to the uh, Father. But for watch of the, the, the night, that brings us about approximately one second. I will tell you. For watch of the night, that brings us approximately. Three o'clock in the morning. Oh, uh, uh, over the years, I, I I I used I used to know this like like uh, that. <laughs> Three a.m. He coming from unto them, walking upon the sea, and he would have passed them. Keep in mind about this sea. This is still. Uh, remember last week we had Legion who, who had entered into the uh, swine and they caused the, the swine to run violently down the uh, steep of uh, the mountain into the water to drown. Where did the evil spirits go? Because evil spirits don't dwell in dead bodies. They went into the sea. What is in, into the sea? The fish. Yes, the fish. They are in the same area of what happened at the Gadarenes last week. <laughs> so, in their minds, they're fully aware of the of the urban legend about this body of water. In so much. They see someone walking upon the sea in verse 49, and they suppose they had been a spirit and cried out. See how, like, how that makes sense? They were expecting to see something. <laughs> mm. For they all saw him in verse 50 and were troubled, and immediately he talked with them and said unto them, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And he went up unto them into the ship and the wind ceased and they were so amazed in themselves beyond measure and wondered for they considered not the miracles of the loaves for their heart was hardened that's how it is just when you think there's a breakthrough there's a setback dealing with unbelief their hearts were, were hardened because they see getting the 12, 12 baskets full that wasn't for them to, to, to eat it was as as the young people say it was a receipt 
because it's to remind you this is what we just went through so no matter what our mind can touch we had we can touch the miracle that God that Jesus just worked and here we are we have it as cargo for their hearts were hard because they forgot about it the Lord is doing something in your life right now for you to hold on to and to remember and it's tangible to you because you're getting ready to face something else amen in verse 53 in closing and when they passed over they came into the land of Gesseret and drew to the shore and when they went out of the ship straightway they knew him and they ran through that whole region round about and began to carry about in beds uh, those that were sick and and where they and, and where, where they heard he was and whithersoever he entered into villages or cities or country they laid the sick in the streets and he was and besought him that they might touch if it were but the border of his garment the word has gotten out with the, the, the woman with the issue of blood and many as touched him were made whole amen amen Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. See, see, after, after, when there's teaching, it has to be miracles. <laughs> it has to be miracles, cause teaching is the quickest way to get the mind of God. I know you like to worship. That 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 that's fine. I do too. It has its place, but. It's about getting this mind to look like God, to get God outcomes. So you got to think like him. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we uh, thank you, Lord. We are we are asking you, Lord, to point out to us our 12 uh, baskets of bread and fish, O oh Lord, as a reminder of what you have done in our lives. Give us a flashback. Lord, this day of thanksgiving, let it serve as a flashback to all that we have encountered, all that we have done, all that you have brought us through. Lord, we are asking you, Father, to bring in about your leadership, your teachings, because we are, we are as sheep without a shepherd. There has to be a better way to what we are doing. Let us receive this correction. We are supposed to grow. We are supposed to be different. We are asking this of you, oh, oh God. Challenge us in ways that we do not like to be challenged. Challenge, challenge us in our weight. Challenge, challenge us in our dieting. Challenge us in, in, in our spending. Challenge us in our worship, in our relationship with God, in our relationship with our friends and our family, with our enemies. Challenge us in technology, Lord, to be more challenged, to learn more, to do more. We ask these things of you, Lord, in Jesus' name, for this is your Bible study. Amen. All right, y'all. Y'all have a, uh, a, a blessed uh, th Thanksgiving and a blessed weekend. All right. God bless. Bye.